So what's good, y'all? All right, today we got something to talk about because um, my bread and butter, all right, my meal, my favorite thing to eat here on the channel, Vegan Teacher, has recently got herself into some drama, which uh, might be the worst she's gotten into yet. Now, we, we know she's done things with their dog, uh, Paws. We know she's done many different things here on this channel. But what we're talking about today will by far be the worst because that Vegan Teacher, uh, I, I don't know what the hell she's smoking if it's some kind of vegan crack, but long story short, she was talking about a child in a very inappropriate way and very despicable to say the least and it might be time to call her that vegan pedrophile because uh I, I i don't know it's not looking too good after what the hell she just said uh it, it, I, I don't know bro i'm genuinely at a loss for words so you know what we're just gonna dig right into this video we're gonna react to it and uh yeah honestly buckle up because this shit is pretty disgusting it's pretty disturbing and uh vegan teacher actually really needs to be held accountable for being very weird so without further ado let's get into it Imagine that this is your baby and you ask your sister to babysit for a little while because you have to run some errands. Imagine that you tell your sister that you are vegan and you don't want your baby to eat any animal products. You trust your sister because you think your sister loves you and respects you. But when you're not looking, your sister takes the dead body part of an innocent animal who didn't want to die and feeds it to your child. Then she makes a video and she posts it for everyone to see. This skeleton is talking like this shit is some like foreign like idea that a kid is eating meat like pause when I say that Jesus Christ for lack of words that a kid is eating a meat product or something that is actually made out of an animal's uh I guess flesh or whatever you want to say however this woman wants to put this shit right to everyone besides vegan teacher this shit is normal so like <coughs> oh fuck to everyone besides that vegan teacher this shit is pretty normal so like I, I don't really understand what she's getting at here like she's talking about this shit like it's damn near the worst thing that's ever happened to the world when your dumbass was born your parents were probably feeding you some form of a product that was made out of actual animal body parts so i mean I, I don't know what the hell you're trying to get at here i mean this is pretty much how every normal human eats besides you vegan freaks like i listen i love all my vegans out there that aren't vegan teacher but jesus christ vegan teacher makes all y'all look like fucking idiots but the feedback she gets isn't of people scolding her for being cruel and betraying her sister's trust the feedback she gets is praise. This is the kind of vegan phobic world we live in, where a vegan mother cannot even trust her own family to follow her instructions and not betray her. Did this imbecile just say vegan phobic world? I'm sorry to tell you, Granny, but uh, I'm we don't live in a fucking vegan phobic world, all right? It, it has nothing to do with people hating vegans. It's the fact that you're an idiot who thinks a literal fetus should be eating plants and dirt. Like, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's 2024. Niggas is not eating that right now. We actually trying to really eat. Like, we ain't trying to sit over here and eat the little BS you trying to eat. Like, we really trying to eat full course meals. Like, I'm trying to go to the steakhouse and give me a good ass steak. You over here messing up the aura. Like, damn, like, please, vegan teacher, just shut up it's been years and you still seeing your ass over there yapping about a whole lot of nothing like just get over it people are gonna eat meat bro and i'm one of those people i'm one of those dudes who's eating meat and i'm not pausing at all no pause i'm demolishing the meat all right i'm i'm, I'm killing the steak i'm killing the ribs i'm all that it's, it's all me y'all gotta give it up man all y'all vegans at 2024 just come to the dark side it's, it's good over here millions of people have seen this video and have commented that they think it is funny and they somehow think that this is proof that the baby wants the meat. But look closely. This meat is covered in barbecue sauce, which is made of salt, sugar, and spices. The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. Well, obviously you sped. A baby doesn't know the difference between a damn chicken bone and a lollipop. I mean, that, that little nigga, all he knows is that as long as he's eating, he's chilling, all right? Anything that's edible, the little thing's gonna go for it, all right? You're acting like if it, if it knew it was a pig or if it was a fucking chicken that they knew they were eating that they wouldn't eat it. Like, it's a baby, bro. The, the thing just wants to eat and go to sleep and shit and puke, bro. It doesn't give a shit about none of this political BS that's going on, bro. Little bro over here, Aura Maxon in the camera, like, let him vibe out. Let let him eat his damn chicken in peace, man. This shit just getting beyond cringe to me. Like, I, I don't even know what to say, honestly, about vegan teacher. At this point, I mean, I've been saying shit about her for the last three years, and I, my brain can't comprehend this bullshit. But 
Yeah, let's finish or maxing chat. Action. If this had been somebody's penis covered in sauce, the child would have had the same reaction. Let that sink in for a minute. Ponder that. Picture that. I really don't think I ever want to fucking picture that in my head. Um, You can definitely keep that. I definitely don't ever want to think about those two things in the same sentence why in the hell are you thinking about a baby in any form like that like this 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 woman is insane I almost just caught her some that would have uh, made the youtube ceo mad at me but jesus christ this 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 chick got the brains of a she got the brain cells of a damn turd like bro i want to crash out right now but i'm not gonna crash out all i can say is there's a cold day in hell waiting for this old hag and she gonna get it she gonna get it she gonna be burning up talking about some vegan 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 she's gonna be fried and now feel that in your gut pause holy shit let that imagery wash all over your body and before you can scream and yell and say that there is a big difference between the two, I invite you right now to try to articulate that. Because in fact, there is no difference. If a mother tells you not to put something in her child's mouth and you do it, you have essentially raped that child's palate. So apparently feeding a human being who doesn't even know what the hell is going on is uh, R-A-P-E now. Wow, great analysis, vegan teacher. So I guess all the fathers and mothers out there who have their amazing children and they have to feed them food every day are doing this every day because the baby doesn't know what the hell is going on. Wow, you're going to compare a penis to chicken. I... I don't know, bro. This this bitch might be off crack. It's safe to say vegans must come with extra uh chromosomes because these motherfuckers are stupid. Like I seriously think every year that it's going to be impossible for vegan teacher to beat 2021 cuz her aura was maxed out. This bitch just maxed out her aura again. I don't know what, bro. I'm done. This baby had a right to maintain her vegan virginity. What the fuck is vegan virginity? You know what? I guess I'm far past the vegan virgin because uh, I've been eating meat since I came out the womb. Pause. Like, holy shit, bro. Like, this this woman genuinely... I, I don't know what the hell... I, this isn't even shock factor at this point. This is just a fucking dumb. Like, holy shit, bro. Like, I'm finna just... I'm finna just... I'm... I, yeah, yeah. Like, the, seriously, all I have to say... I don't even know. My brain can't... Comp like, bro, my brain not working, y'all. It's literally glitching. It's Playboy cardiac libs right now this mother did not consent to her child eating an animal this child did not consent to eating an animal who didn't want to die on behalf of all good people who live on this planet and are able to see right from wrong i apologize to this child i am deeply sorry that your aunt felt the need to do this to you to all mothers and fathers who are striving to be vegan in this vegan phobic world, I salute you. To the millions of people who have commented on this post and laughed about it, try for a moment to put yourself in the position of the animal. Oh, shut up with this BS, man. Put your position. Man, how about you put yourself in the position to be a damn genius for once and stop talking a whole bunch of shit? Like, you're over here talking about a damn baby in a demeaning way to prove a point. Like, I don't think you understand how deplorable that is, vegan teacher. I know you be watching these damn videos. You be watching every vid I post on you. You watched the last one and this random vegan dude was, like, trying to, I guess, debunk what I was saying about you being a damn idiot. But I, if both of you are watching, all right? I'm vegan K. Fuck vegans. Please gain some kind of knowledge as to what you're saying, vegan teacher. Like, you really don't know what the hell you're saying, it seems like. Like, you genuinely compare apples and oranges. Like, you can't do that. Like, for example, if there was a news story to come out, like, let's just say tomorrow, and a vegan, right? They got killed by some random person, right? And th th this thing goes viral, all right? Vegan teacher is going to be the first fucker to make a video talking about some. This person was killed because they're vegan. There's no correlation at all to that being the case she just runs with stories to be vegan you know what i'm saying to, to try to convert people to this shit and it's just getting corny like stop it please i'm begging you old hag stop this animal did not want to die this is somebody's rib somebody's rib it is somebody's body part the animal wanted to be with his or her family 
the animal had a right to live. All animals have a right to be free, to live their lives without being commodified, tortured, raped, killed, and dismembered. No, a vegan teacher, I, I do feel you in that aspect. Like, sure, it it's an animal, right? It's an innocent thing, too, and it definitely deserves to have a chance at life like every other thing that's living. But you cannot compare a baby being fed food like they're supposed to have, like they gotta damn eat, you're not supposed to feed it dirt, leaves, and all this other vegan shit, to a baby literally getting touched, like literally getting assaulted. You cannot do that. That makes no damn sense in any planet, in any world. There's there's absolutely no correlation like this isn't troll bait this isn't trying to bait this is just fucking disgusting this is actually deplorable i've never seen someone in my life be so genuinely disconnected from reality in the sense of okay maybe i shouldn't say certain shit yeah i'm trying to get my cloud up you know yeah i'm trying to you know get my views up i'm vegan teacher all right and i'm trying to grasp onto the 2021 cloud but certain shit doesn't need to be said you know what i'm saying certain things are better just left alone and if she would just leave certain things alone her life would probably be better but she just can't seem to know when a damn stop so i honestly i don't i don't know bro i don't know vegan teacher will probably do this shit forever to the day she literally leaves this earth all babies have a right to maintain their vegan virginity babies do not consent to having body parts put into their mouth whether it's a penis or a rib or anything else the only body part that should ever have come into contact with this baby is his own mother's arms and her breast milk. Uh-uh, don't do this shit, vegan teacher. So with that logic, the baby can't consent to being in its mother's arms, nor can it consent to be being breastfed at all. So you might as well just leave it to do its own thing, right? If that's the logic we're using. Yes, the baby can't consent. It doesn't know what the hell is going on. So it's the parent's best interest to do what they need to do for that baby to live. No sane human that isn't a sicko in the damn head ever considers a, 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 a wee-wee and a baby in the same sentence. That's fucking disgusting. You cannot compare those two why is she doing this? Like, bro, of course the baby can't consent. You can't consent when you're underage. That's why you have parents. They consent for you. They decide what you can do, what you can't do until you're 18. So therefore, if there's any decision you have to make or that's in your life that needs to be made, a parent makes that for you. And when you're a damn infant, that's usually including what you eat. And well, in this case, obviously the parent or whoever decided to give this baby chicken because they thought it was the baby's best interest, which honestly is not bad. Like you're feeding the kid. You're supposed to feed the damn kid chicken whatever it's food me my brother my little brother who's five my baby cousin who's like three bro they, they, they bro we were all eating fries when we were like two and chicken nuggets and shit like that like bro that's what a kid grows up doing stop making that shit weird you psychopath we live in a twisted world but we can change let's do that when you look at the comments below Try to imagine the kind of person who is writing them. Try to imagine their face, what they look like, the kind of circumstances they're living in, how deranged they are. Ironic for you to call anybody deranged, you goddamn psycho. What are we talking about here? Like, Jesus Christ, you make my fucking brain hurt. That vegan teacher is literal brain rot. Like, Jesus Christ, everything she says is a damn contradiction. Like... Oh my god, it's like listening to a broken record player try to literally get out of a loop. Honestly, if I'm being 100% real though, like, vegan teacher knows she's trolling, and I feel like we all know she'd be trying to troll, but this is just too far. When she said the n-word, definitely a little crazy, but, uh, that, that, that's just something like, okay, it's a forbidden word, like, nah, I don't want her to say it, but, like, she's a grown-ass adult, she can make that decision. This is just damn disgusting. How psychotic they are. If there are good people who are reading this, now is your chance to step forward. Share this video with anyone you know who is vegan. Share this video with anyone you know who has a baby. And if you haven't yet done so, watch the documentary called Dominion Movement on YouTube. No, I'm not watching Dominion and shut the hell up trying to explain why your point makes sense. I'm sorry, a baby 
with a barbecue penis does not go good in the same sentence. Stop saying that stupid shit. Please stop talking about that being equal. It's not. Chicken wing and a penis are not the same thing, all right? And a baby cannot consent. Therefore, that's why the parent decides what that thing eats. Why the fuck are you talking about a penis? My brain hurts, but overall, moral of the story here is just don't be a damn vegan, all right? Uh, I love y'all. Eer.